Hello, everyone. Today, we are going to talk about this concept of the entrepreneurial operating system. What is EOS and what does it mean for our business? So with that, let's go ahead and just dive right into it. So when we start to think about the entrepreneurial operating system or EOS, we got to start with the concept of an operating system. Now, a lot of times people have heard of the idea of an operating system because they have an an Apple iPhone, or they've got an Android phone, they've got a Windows PC or an Apple's computer or an Apple computer. And when we talk about these different operating systems, what these things are doing is they're creating the structure that allows for all the different applications on the device to work together as a harmonious unit. So that when all the different programs on my phone or on my computer want to use the screen, the operating system dictates which program can use a screen in which order and that type of thing. Now, when we think about operating systems, it works far beyond the computer context. Operating systems uh, apply in every aspect of life. Anywhere there's a coordination of a lot of different things, we're gonna have to have a way of operating an operating system. And so if we use just a simple example that most of us should be familiar with, it's how we drive on our roads. We've got literally millions of people that are all learning in different ways, how to drive vehicles on our roads. There needs to be a set of rules that govern how everybody works together as a single entity, how we basically have millions of different people using the same road in a way that's healthy, that's, that's effective. Now, the funny thing about it is, and this is just kind of when we start to think about it, is not all operating systems are the same, just like there's Apple and there's Android. Every different country, in fact, in the United States, every single state has a different way of doing things. And some of those things may work well together and some may not. So for instance, in the United States, you're expected to stop for pedestrians. In China, you're not. In fact, you get in trouble if you stop for pedestrians. In Russia, they have a, a rule that doesn't really apply here in the United States. So you can't have a dirty car. If you have a dirty car, you get fined. In Cyprus, if you're eating while driving, you get in trouble in Sweden. If you don't have your headlines on every time you're driving the car, you get fined. Germany doesn't have speed limits. Can you imagine trying to drive everywhere around here in the United States without any speed limits all the time? In California, they got a rule that I think is kind of funny. You're not allowed to shoot animals from a car <laughs> unless it's a whale. So I don't know how many whales have been shot in California, but they had to create a law exempting it. So don't know about that. But just imagine now, like we started to think about this. Every driver, let's say we're going to England, and every foreign driver that comes to England thinks to themselves, I've learned how to drive the right way. I'll just keep driving on the right side of the street. In a country where everybody drives on the left side of the street, it'd be chaos. Just because the way that we learned how to do something doesn't mean that it's going to work in the place that we may be going. Yet when we think about this in the business context, this is a, quite often how we see our businesses operate. We have people come from all different companies and they join our company and they go, yeah, I know how to run a business. I know how to run a department. I know how to manage. I know how to, to communicate. I know how to drive alignment. Yet the right way of doing that could be very different. And they all could be different right ways of doing things. For instance, at Amazon, they have continuous feedback with annual reviews when they think about performance management and employee feedback. In Facebook, they also have an annual cycle, but there it's based on a stack ranking and self-assessments, five peer reviews. And in Netflix, there is no standard frequency, but you're supposed to get 360 degree, 360 degree reviews from superiors, colleagues, and you're also supposed to do a self-assessment. Each of these different ways, people could come in from these different companies and say, I know the right way to do it. Yet it really depends on the company that we come to and how it's doing it. And otherwise we're just gonna have chaos. And so if we wanna build something great, if we wanna take something up to the highest levels, we wanna, we're gonna to have to have everybody working in alignment, coordinated with cooperation, with high performance and execution. And to do that, we need to have a single operating system working in our business top to bottom. And this is what EOS is. So this all comes back to what is EOS? EOS is nothing more than a business operating system, a predefined operating system that we get to put into businesses. There, there are 20 tools, 20 different mechanisms that we put into the organization that will help drive 
alignment and execution and performance. It's used by over 130,000 businesses. There's over a one and a half million, 1.6 million books sold about EOS. And when we get these into the organization, what we can really anticipate is that our organization is going to have clear vision, top to bottom. Everybody's going to understand where we're going, how we're going to get there. We're going to have uh, solid traction where every ounce of energy is driving to that vision and everybody's operating with accountability and discipline, executing, driving to the same goals and healthiness. Because we get rid of the friction and the misalignments and the people banging into each other with different ways of doing things, it generally leads to a nicer environment where people are happier and enjoying things more. That's what EOS is gonna deliver for us. So when we look at the call to action and what this video is pushing towards, if you're in a business that's using EOS, we really encourage you really become a master of these tools, learn how these tools work and become highly effective at them and drive that alignment, coordination, excellence across your organization. And if you're a business that's just thinking about EOS, well, that could be a sign that you're already a little bit late to the game, but we need to get that consistency in the organization really as quickly as we can. I, I love to think of it as really from the very first days. Now, I love this quote, and this is where we'll wrap up. Patrick Lencioni, Lencioni says in the five dysfunctions of a team, this is something that was told to him by a billionaire client. If you could get all the people in an organization rowing in the same direction, you could dominate any industry in any market against any competition at any time. Well, that is what the promise of EOS is. And that's something that we have seen over and over and over again. I encourage you to step really aggressively into the EOS methods, learn how to use them, apply them in your business and drive that success.